Leaders in Kansas City are taking action to help people deal with the heat. Sloan Heller is live with the latest. Sloan, what are they doing? Good morning, Curtis. A news, camp, a news conference, rather, just wrapping up here. And I can tell you uh, the big headline out of all of this, we're talking about 10 suspected heat-related deaths here in Kansas City. Uh, we heard from Kansas City Mayor Sly James, as well as the fire chief, the city manager. Uh, at this point, the city has not declared the heat a state of emergency. Uh, in order for that to happen, there have to be several factors in place, uh, including the fact that the temperature has to be 105 degrees by 11 o'clock. However, the city is acting under what they're calling sort of a modified emergency plan. So they've opened cooling centers, a 311 line for help. And what the mayor is saying right now, he's saying, please just check on your neighbors, not once, but twice a day. He's really urging people to kind of come together at this point. Uh, the mayor was asked during this news conference, considering we are not in a formal state of emergency, uh, why all the attention? Take a listen. When people are dying, I don't think it's an overreaction to try to find a way to stop them from dying. I think it's important for us to try to give people information that will lessen the burden on their lives. It's not really that big of an inconvenience for me to come here and make this statement or for you to come and, and video it. It's something that might help somebody live. Now, the big thing to keep in mind, uh, hearing from the Kansas City Health Department, you know, we tend to think of the very young, the very old during this heat, but it's everybody. Uh, people in their 20s and 30s are getting sick. People who are drinking too much alcohol, maybe overexerting themselves during the day. So everybody really needs to keep an eye out and, and protect themselves because uh, this heat can really impact anybody. We're live this morning in Kansas City. Sloan Heller, NBC Action News. Sloan, thanks for that. The heat is also to blame for the death in Kansas City. This is the latest one. A 65-year-old man in El Dorado collapsed Monday while mowing his field. He died at the hospital. In Topeka, there was also a man working the overnight shift at the Goodyear plant. He collapsed and he also died. Goodyear did release a statement saying that it's speculation at this point to say the, de the death is heat-related. OSHA is asking everyone who works outside to remember this message. Water, rest, and shade. Last year, OSHA said more than 30 workers died because of heat stroke. This is video of one of the places that you can escape for uh, free. Uh, both kids and adults packed the fountains today at Crown Center. And you can also cool off and enjoy art at the Nelson Atkins Museum today through Sunday. Plus, all malls and public libraries will be open along with uh, the Salvation Army. Just days after the